Hi everyone, so I am going to be doing a reading today for Mercury Retrograde, um, but it's going to be focused on Twin Flames, Soulmates, um, and it could be either relationships, it's kind of focused in any kind of relationship, but it can also be focused if you're talking to them or not talking to them, either or, okay? Um, it's a Mercury Retrograde Twin Flame Soulmate reading. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. I have these three decks that I'm going to start with. Um, this is my Everyday Tarot. This one is... Where is the box? Oh, I have a bunch of boxes around here. This one is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And the other one that I have here is the... I have to look for the box for this one, but I will put them in the bottom description below so that you can check them out in case you're interested in any of these decks. So let's go ahead and start. Um, the first card, this, this is such a beautiful deck. It's very modern. It's a huge deck, but it's very, very modern. Okay. So let's start with the, what energies will this retrograde bring? Let me kind of put these on the side here for a second. What kind of energies will this retrograde bring between my twin flame and I? What energies? And Mercury retrograde is going to be, oops, this one right here, okay. Um, it's going to be, I'll tell you right now, the time frames. Oh, it's going to be June 18th through July 12th. However, the pre-retrograde shadow begins June 2nd, which we, we are already in the uh, shadow period. And the shadow post-retrograde shadow ends July 26th. So pretty much July 2nd to July 26th, we're going to be dealing with this retrograde. Okay. Okay. So. Let's go back to the spread. Um, what energies will this retrograde bring between us? Oh, interesting. The hangman. And it came up in reverse, which is pretty interesting. Um, so the hanged man is a card of things that need to be looked at from a different perspective. Um, maybe looked at from a different angle. And when it's in reverse to me it's representing um the need to let go of some sort of situation or friendship or an outdated energy so what the energies are that this retrograde will bring is that you will feel and your twin will feel a need to let go of a way of thinking of a mindset of a way of feeling about you and the relationship and I need to let go of some sort of energy that is needed okay so it's gonna bring like a huge switch a huge change um, and always retrogrades are usually a need to revisit things from the past to make them better they help those kind of situations so um, Let's go ahead and pull from the Kindred, the Vintage Wisdom Oracle and see what other energy can they give us of what energies will this retrograde bring for you and your twin. And I got ancestors, so something from the past that's maybe a long time ago, There's going, it's going to come to the forefront, okay? It's going to come to the to the present um, and there may be a need to revisit that kind of like skeletons in the closet I need to look at something a little more carefully um, is what I'm seeing here all right what else what else will this retrograde bring it can also be like ancestral energy as well like help from your ancestors to help you with this relationship and I have the core. So it's kind of getting to the depth 
of a situation between you and your twin. Like you're gonna feel a lot of energy, especially in your heart chakra. Um, there's going to be a lot of energy around it, okay? A lot of energy around this. Um, I'm gonna pull one more duck, and this one is the, I forgot what this, the Peace Oracle. Love this duck. So we're gonna pull here the Peace Oracle duck. Again, what is the spirit? What is the energies that will come from this Mercury retrograde for the twin flames and partnership? Encounter. So you may have an encounter. You may feel their energy. Um, there may be some sort of an encounter between you and them in some aspect. So that is definitely showing up here, okay? Which is beautiful energy. Um, the next one I'm gonna look at is, what is my twin thoughts about me and this time in this retrograde? What is the thought process? So I'm gonna work with my other tarot. This is my Gilded Tarot Royale. So let's shuffle this deck. What is the thought process between me and my twin in this retrograde? Oops, that one just almost jumped out there. Oops, my little angel almost fell too. Okay, hold on one second here while I put this over here. Okay, so let's take a look. Ooh, the tower. So the tower um, talks about something falling apart. So letting go of old patterns, old that, um, what is the word? Like I'm trying to get to. Um, destructive thoughts that are not, not helping us. Uh, for you and your partner, for you and your twin, for you and your significant other. Um, I feel like there's going to be like a release of something that's been very difficult. And fin finally, you're going to be letting that go. Okay. Finally, you're going to be releasing that energy and letting it go. Okay. Basically, the energy here um, of the thought process is to let go of something that's been destructive for you and your twin in this Mercury retrograde. So there's going to be a release of that, and it's going to be very positive. It's going to be very healing for you and for them. Um, let's go ahead, and I'm going to pull now. I'm going to do, hold on one second. Let's do the Angels of Light Oracle. I'm going to pull from the Angels of Light. What the angels want to tell you regarding the, your um, thoughts between you and your twin in this Mercury retrograde of each other. Angel of Grief. Okay, so... This is interesting because it talks about um, releasing grief. So letting go of grief, things that have been really sad for you and your twin. Claiming your life back. So you're going to be able to claim things that, and he or she will be able to claim things as well. Um, acknowledging some sort of a loss as well. And patiently allowing that grief to release, to let go. Okay, so it is about releasing that grief, it's about healing that energy, um, is what we're seeing here, okay? I'm going to pull the Healing Oracle of the Universal Love from Tony Carm Carmen Salerno. So we're going to pull from here and see what we've got. Thought process.
and I got sorrow. So there's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of grief, a lot of hurt feelings between you and your, your a partner. And if you're not talking to each other, especially I feel this is coming up as a need to heal and release. So this is going to be a great time to release anything that's painful, anything that's been hurting, anything that's been challenging. Um, it's going to be a great time to let go of that energy. Um, let's look at the animal spirits, what they have to say about the thought process. And Virgin Mary, you know, divine feminine energy comes up a lot, especially um, as being, you know, hurt or sad. And this Mercury retro retrograde is going to help a lot with healing anything that's been challenging. I got the reliability cards, the goat. So a lot of support as well coming energetically to help heal that situation, heal that pain. Okay. So that is definitely showing up here. Wow. It's really powerful energy, powerful energy that's coming up here. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to do the next part of the reading. <clears throat> what healing will come forward? Okay, so let's do the Angels of Light Tarot. I'm going to work with this deck. What healing will come forward for you and your twin or soulmate? What healing will come? Five of Swords, God of the Highest Being, Desire to Know, the Acquisition of Wisdom. So a lot of knowledge, like a lot of information is going to be like downloads are going to be coming forward for you um, and for your, your twin. I feel like there's, you know, Five of Swords is a card of defeat and feeling like things are not going anywhere, like you're not moving in the direction that you want. So you're going to feel like there is going to be some sort of um, positive energy and I feel what the five of swords to me is talking about is that knowledge and that wisdom so you're going to feel that wisdom coming to you okay that wisdom is going to be coming your way um, is what I'm seeing here okay um, let's do the L Qui Oracle I hope I pronounced that correctly and let's see what healing is coming forward in this retrograde and I got she who prepares Zenith formulate strategy and strategize and devise so it's kind of like having a plan you know it's like having a plan to move forward to go in the direction that you want um so i feel like you're going to have that healing that healing is on the way that healing is coming um to have that that strategy or that plan to heal this relationship as well as for them too they're going to feel more like prepared to move forward on how to approach the relationship how to approach the situation how to approach the love their love life all right we're going to do with the blessed b cards what blessing what healing and what blessing i got a blessing for good work okay and i'm drawn to the roses so a lot of beautiful like again that divine sacred feminine energy um coming up i feel a lot of soft and gentle healing um rose petal water great for you to work with right now in this mercury retrograde taking a bath with it spraying yourself with it trying to burn rose candles or rose colored candles in your home in pairs are going to be very good for you um so yeah it looks like there's a need for more of a a healing and a blessing with this is what i am picking up all right um and then 
I'm going to work with the Chronicles of Destiny Oracle for the healing. What is the healing? And I got alchemy. So kind of things coming together. Number 50 there. Things moving into, in the right direction, I feel. Um, so that's what that card is about. It talks about something ordinary becoming something extraordinary and kind of putting things together. So it's kind of like bringing two things together, um, mixing two things together, um, trying to blend you know, two energies or two situations, okay? Okay. What obstacle might it bring? Okay, so for that deck, I'm going to work with that um, card. Let me pull from my eight coin to two tarot. I'm gonna use that one. And one, one second, take it out of here. Love, love, love this duck. It's a beautiful duck. So what obstacle might this retrograde bring for you and your twin? So maybe things that are kept quiet that are not talked about, things that maybe are going to continue to be that way. So that is showing up as things that are quiet, that are secretive, that are not talked about, things that are, you know, I see secrets around this. So that is one of the things that I'm getting um, as the obstacle. Maybe, you know, if you do talk to them, they may not be very talkative about things. They may not want to talk about what's going on. So that is showing up here. I'm going to pull from the moon oracle. Obstacles, the abundance card. Now, this card interestingly came up in reverse when I pulled it. So there could be a block of abundance for you and your partner. Maybe a block in communication, a block in when it talks about abundance, I get, you know, not just financial Maybe it could be financial. Maybe there's financial concerns that are affecting the person that you're interested in, your person, your person. And that can, of course, affect love, you know, definitely. So that is showing up here. The other obstacle I have, this one is jumping, breaking free. So there's a need to break free from someone or something between you and your twin, and it's, it's it's not easy as it sounds. Maybe they're need to, they're needing to break free from a bad habit, from a bad situation, and it's just they're not doing their part, or it's just hard. It's too hard for them, and they may need more help. Okay. All right. Um, what do I need to focus to improve in my relationship? Let's pull from this dock here. This is the love, the universal love. Healing sounds. Wow, that's beautiful. So maybe working with Tibetan bowls, I heard are really good. Um, definitely. So you may want to try that. Um, any kind of sound therapy is going to be very good for you now, okay? I'm going to pull again from my, this is my um, space tarot. So let's see. And I have event horizon. Now this is a extra card in this deck. And it represents something, ma something important that is coming. Something important that's on the way. That's coming that's going to be in the horizon, that's coming in the future, and it's really going to help the situation, okay? Um, which is really interesting. Let me get a little more information to give you. And I think this is, like I said, it's a, 
extra card that comes with this deck. It's a wild card. And it talks about personal choice, commitment, and acceptance. So you want to accept something. You want to come to terms with something. Um, you may have a decision to make in this retrograde regarding the relationship. Okay. Discernment. Having that discernment, having that clarity to be able to see a situation more clearly and better. Okay. Will there be a connection? And if so, how? Let's pull from, let's do the Gilded. The fool, yes. There's going to be a new kind of connection between you and your and your part and your partner or your person. I feel there's definitely going to be some sort of new connection that's going to help you both. Okay. I have the angel of grace, so you're going to have the grace. The angels of grace are going to help try to bring in that energy. Okay. They're going to try to bring in the energy of love and positive energy and grace um, to help you with this, okay? To help you with the connection. And six is harmony. So making things more... Maybe you're going to have a harmonious connection with them. It doesn't have to be just... On a physical level, it could be on a spiritual level. And I have listen. So you're going to be listening to messages from spirit. There's going to be some messages coming. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, messages from the angels. For you and your twin. Angel of stability, so there's going to be more stability after this retrograde for you and your partner. Let's do new supportive connections. So new, new supportive connections that are going to help you and your twin. Affirmation. So there's going to be a, confir a confirmation, affirmation of a situation. A statement presented as fact, emotional support and encouragement, the process of giving life a sense or value, spiritually uplifting statement or action. All right, so that is your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this reading brought lots of light for you. And if you have any questions, let me know down there in the bottom, in the bottom section below in comments. Angel blessings.